Hi, this is Maggie, and it's time for another Tuesday tip. These are just short, quick little videos to show you one thing you might not be aware of in the system. I also need to tell you that one, this is the same on a Mac and a PC. Your commands are in different places, but if you are a PC user, you can watch this and learn something. And two, I turned to Phil to find this out because I was like, huh? What's going on? What happens, let's see, first, this is a film strip over here and it shows you different collections of stitches you've put together. And what I do is I did this first part and then I like to copy and flip it and then reverse the order of stitching so that I have over here a start and an end and a start and an end. And you can see the little S and you can see the tiny little E for start and end. Now you'll also notice in the film strip that there is no stop command. That's what a stop command would look like. And I'm going to delete that. And there also between this top and that top and the bottom, there is no color change. And yet, if you stitch this out with a sewing machine or a machine embroidery machine that has knotting and trimming, the system did put a knot and a trim in different places between these stitches. They don't automatically run one into the other. With the mask, I didn't mind because we do have the hospital person's video in our group and she mentioned making these really strong when you stitch them. So the knot and trim isn't going to hurt it, it's going to anchor it more firmly in some places. However, for other things it could be a nuisance and you might not want them. What you need to do, and I like to zoom this way, I know other people use the keys, but um, um, I'm an arrow kind of girl. What you need to do is, let's take off some of these threads so you can see it better. You have to make sure that your start and end points are in the same place. Now I had connected them already, but if this end point is not in the same place as the start point, the system will put a stop in here. If you place your start point and your end point right on top of each other, you will not get the knot. So that's your little Tuesday tip. Again, thanks to Phil, and we'll see you next week.